another victim of the serial killer, Burden Fell, found horribly mutilated. Burden Fell believes he possesses necromantic powers. He believes he can read the name of his next victim and the guts of the one he was slaughtered. It brings to 23 the number of murders that can be directly attributed to the madman who signs his letters to the authorities in Burden Fell. Police speculate there may be many, many more. For you to be replaced, the evidence suggests that your wife may have been murdered, burdened, fell. I don't say anything to that. A crime scene to investigate. Now back to you, Susan.
I'm your copy! Find that fast. What about you? Don't worry about me. How's the wife? Freeze or I'll blow your fucking head off. Oh, how did I miss you? Shut up, drop the weapons, and get to your fucking knees. So you did miss me, though. I said shut up, drop the weapon, and get to your fucking knees. Well, this little old thing? I don't need it. Hi, baby. You make it better. You cocks.
that's, that's all. I'm sorry I couldn't save you.
1957, Solomon Arcane opens Fright World, the Disneyland of fear. Thousands flock to opening day. Parents, teens, and children thrill to Carn Evil, the sinister circus sideshow. The Graveyard of Screams, the House of Evil Dead, the Factory of Fear, and the Mad Lab of Dr. Asylum. Born in 1900, Sullivan flees the chaos of the Russian Revolution of 1905 on Bloody Sunday when troops fire onto a defenseless group of demonstrators in St. Petersburg. Solomon is to say that the images of horror he saw that day have remained with him ever since. Solomon says that Fright World is his way of exercising his demons and giving back to the good old U.S. of A. What a guy! What a patriot! But despite a decade of boffo box office, Solomon is burdened with bad business decisions and worse business deals. The more he made, the more he lost. Lack of money takes its toll. Routine maintenance becomes non-existent. Staff is cut, then cut again. When the remaining staff's checks bounce yet again, they walk out in disgust, leaving Solomon alone. To add insult to injury, the Board of Health and the Board of Amusement Safety both condemn Fright World. In despair, faced with financial ruin, Solomon dismantles his amusements and puts them away in an undisclosed storage facility. Then he quietly goes home and hangs himself. It's when they get killed in the movie and that's the women, and in just as horrible ways. To say that slasher movies are misogynistic, it's just bullshit. And the one who survives is always female. Yeah, but look what's left of her. But she survives. So the argument goes around. I told the cleanup crew to leave the lights on. What's the switch? Anyone got a flashlight? Yeah, I got one in the trunk. Come on, I've got one in my bag. Wow, Girl Scout. Girl Scout? Semper Fi, motherfucker. What does that mean? How rude. Semper Fi, she's a Marine, dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> really? Dickhead? I can kill you in seven different ways, baby. D.I. Whose friend is this? Because I'm going to kick her ass. Ladies, please. Who are you calling a lady? Calm down, Cat. Sick boy. Yeah, boss? Don't call me that. You know where the box is? I sure do. He sure does. The light box. Take that. We'll turn the lights on. You coming? Not yet, but I'm sure I will be soon. Oh, yeah. Right in the stallion. The baloney pony. <laughs> you better have another drink. Think? What's that look? I just can't wait to see your faces when the lights come on. Just wait to see what we've done with the place. Oh, I just love what you've done with the place. <laughs> you are cured here? Omar is my main man. If it's broken, he can fix it. I got something he can fix. It ain't broken, it needs fixing. Speaking of needing another drink. Cat, enough. I came here to party, not fight. To celebrate the grand opening. Right world. Yeah, well, still got some work to do. I think we'll be ready for opening day. 
then, well, what happens, happens. This is great. Finding firewood's been the second best thing that's ever happened to you. Oh, yeah? I'm with you. You are, baby. <laughs> Wait for what? You're a sick fuck. Hey, when you got an itch, you got a scratch. Yeah, I guess so. Speaking of, Omar is with me. Sorry, I didn't see you there. It's the worst force. Ouch. What you did that for? She a friend of yours? I've never met the crazy bitch in my life. What are you hitting me for? Because <laughs> you love it, baby. Because it hurts so good. Mm, I'm gonna tug on that ring so you call mama. Hey, slow down, darling. Get out of here, alright? I'm so fucking wet. Hey, tell me nothing, alright? Let's go. So, what is this place anyway? You're kidding, right? This is Fright World. At one time, the most famous haunted attraction in the world. Played the capacity crowds for 25, 30 years. Then what? No bad business deals, bad luck. The owner had to shut it down, put it away. The amusements collected dust. And then I bought it. Did you yourself out? Not even close. Especially not now. What are you gonna do with it? In two weeks, we open the doors, and Fright World shall live again! <laughs> Who are you again? Dr. Diablo's Carnival, where death has found most amusing, since there's nothing more amusing than death. You'll laugh, laugh so hard you'll scream, but not just any scream, it might just be your last. You think it's funny to be scared? Maybe not this time. Enter Fright World's 3D Funhouse, a flashback to times of yesteryear when frightening wasn't so funny. Sometimes it could have been deadly. Long ago, your parents enjoyed a different kind of thrill. Amusements that were not so safe. Carnivals traveled from town to town, setting up cheaply and quickly, and leaving even quicker. The story is true. But the funhouse was really that unsafe? Were the cage bars really that secure? Was that person really found missing after the carnival left? Now relive it and believe it for yourselves. Fright World has brought all of this back bigger, better, and bolder than ever. Equip with your 3D glasses, see what you could never believe, and believe what you have never seen. A carnival complete from clowns to chaos. Alive in day glow colors. Brought to you in a fashion that only Fright World can. We even included the cotton candy. Never before has so much been put under one roof. Until now.
Alice Cooper once sang, I love the dead. Well, maybe he does, but the dead don't love back. The dead hate being dead. Death is not the end of pain. Death is the beginning. Do you think the fences and the gates that surround graveyards are there to keep out the living? They are there to hold back the dead. The dead suffer and they want to make the living suffer. So we can all suffer together for eternity. And the soil? Solomon brought in real grave soil. He actually bought an old graveyard, relocated the bodies, brought in truckloads of soil here. Just think, a dead body once slept in this. The dust of the dead might be mixed in. How cool is that? How sick is that, you mean? Oh, it's sick. A house separated from time and space stands amidst all laws of nature. Why does it exist? No one really knows. Perhaps it was misplaced by the present world, forgotten by decay and mankind. Does it really matter why it's here? No. But still it stands, it waits. Although it seems dead and lifeless, lately there's been much activity inside. Noises emanating from the house have been heard. And for some reason, a constant storm brews overhead. To enter this foreboding place would take nerves of steel. Perchance you think you have enough courage? <laughs> Historians have observed this house, though none have dared to enter it, and found it to be built on a nexus of power. Throughout time, evil forces have always been present here, taking the lives of unsuspecting passerbys and adding their spirits to that very power. Here, those spirits still exist, so it has been said, and can be found roaming, lost forever, and searching for something or someone. Those who speculate say the dead can be found here at the right time during the night. If you're lucky enough to find them, but beware. Don't ever allow yourselves to become a part of them. They're always looking to add to their numbers. <laughs> Scale the walls of insanity, the toxic factory. Clawing and screaming to get away as the ear-piercing, mind-shattering music travels to your brain while the infinitely pulsing, methodic lights challenges your perceptions and changes your senses. Deceiving you to see and hear really isn't there. Look over your shoulder to find what you thought you'd never see. Escape was never part of the plan. Terror overcomes you as all your hopes are removed and your phobias finally realized. Around every corner, a new fear you never knew you had becomes conscious, and a few you thought you never could have begin right here and now. Was it too late to turn around? Or did you, and just not realize it? In the end, everything looks the same, so they say. Your mind begins to slip as you know you'll never get out. You scream from horror as you try. But will you ever find your way? Hey, hey, what the fuck? It's just the first draft. I got time to tweak. Bravo! Bravo! Good, man. Alright, alright, alright. Wait, 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 wait. Tomorrow morning. Morning? Alright, tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, right. Okay, sometime after we drag our sorry asses out of bed. A special treat for those very special guests of Fright World. A tour of the building where Vernon Bell met his demise. Do you mean that freak that used to reach his victim's guts? The one and the same. The actual building that the FBI found him in and shot him in, presumably to death, is but a few miles away. Now that's a horror show. The actual building? 
at the actual building. Let's party! <laughs> You like that? I know it's a bit dirty, but yeah. I'll tell a sick boy to clean or something. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the back. Yeah. It's accessible for the dead, you know? The dead to come out to the side. Oh, God. Maybe for you to go in, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, let me show you the back. Look at this. Look at the back. <laughs> you can actually fit two coffins here. Two coffins? Two coffins, Jeez. yeah. They don't make this model no more. What year you know? is it? This is a 1967. Wow. Yeah. Where'd you get it? Me, I got it on eBay. eBay? Yeah, got well. it on Good deal. <laughs> 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 What's this?
ever so it's my first time. What? My first time, Jack. It's my first time. Get out of here. What's that supposed to mean? I mean, are you serious? You're a virgin? What's so strange about that? You don't look like a virgin. Then what do I look like, Jack? Do I look like some kind of fucking whore? Some slut, bitch? Look, I'm sorry, I... And how did you mean it, Jack? What's that supposed to mean? What am I supposed to look like? Would you prefer it if I had my tattoos removed, my piercings removed? And what, what you know, wore a sundress? Don't touch me. Yeah, please. I love you. I haven't wanted to be with anyone as much as I want to be.
that. Strangulation, fornication, extermination, termination. Let's destroy the entire nation. What you see, clowny? Those are some big shoes you got there. It's the truth they say about clowns. The bigger the shoe, the smaller the dick.
subway drain. Yeah, I get those when I drink too. Crazy stuff. Mine are about things that happened to me. What do you mean? Dreams about bird and fell. That could be scary. Jack, I have to tell you something. But you have to promise never to say anything about it again and never to tell anyone. Wow, so serious, babe. Yes, very serious. Okay, then I promise. I was Vernon Fells last victim. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, I'm such an idiot. I was making jokes about the house. Cat, I'm so, so sorry. No, it's okay. People don't understand. They can't understand. Trust me, I've heard all the sick jokes. I've seen all the websites. Unless you've been through what I've been through. Thank God most people haven't. You can't understand. Anyway, I think this. I think me and you are getting into much more than just this girlfriend-boyfriend stuff. I hope so. And I don't want it to be any secrets between us. I've, you know, managed to stay out of the spotlight for so long. There's always somebody nosing about. Must bother you. All this, I mean, my love for horror and all that. No, it doesn't. To me, this is just fantasy. It's not real. It's make believe. What happened to me was real. And after that, this is nothing. This is just child's play. I can love you, Kat. I'm so lucky to have you. Yes, you are. Nice. Come on, let's go outside. Somebody got a nosebleed or something? Do you think all this blood came out of someone's goddamn fucking nose, Jack? Call the fucking police now! Jesus, Kat. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's no signal. Metal in the warehouse interferes sometimes. We gotta go inside. Then let's go. Alright. Still a little drunk? But why? I found some blood in there. Well, blood. Jack, come on. Well, where are you guys going? Jack's calling the police. Well, well, is that serious? I mean, who got hurt? Omar, round everybody up. You got it. Great. Mm. You better check the fire room. Mm. You check fire room, right? Bullshit. No, I'm not fucking okay. I'm suffering from serious alcohol poisoning here. You shouldn't let me drink so much. Where's everybody else? Let's see, where did I put my list? Come on, Pop, this is serious. So is my freaking hangover. Where's Beth? I don't know. She went to pee or puke or both. What the fuck is going on? Raven, you stay here with acid. I'm gonna look for the rest of us, alright? What is going on? Can you tell me? Jack please? found blood! How much blood? Does it matter? It does if it's yours. Calm down, baby. Please. You don't know. You're scaring me, Kat. You should be scared. Hey, I'll find an asset in this guy. He puked in the graveyard. Sorry. It does add a nice touch, though. 
allemaal goed door zo'n stappen zo. Wat niet op de meteen denk ik. First, to drive through the receiving door. Yeah, yeah, that should work. You think that will work? Yeah, I mean, the doors are big and heavy, but so is the hearse. That's a classic. It's built like a friggin' tank. Is that coffee? Yeah. Okay. You okay, Pat? Where's everybody else? Are they around? Did you look for them? Yeah, but they're not around. I just can't believe Albino or Beck would be pulling some shit like this. There's no way Beck would. <laughs> and Albino would not tomorrow, though. I am telling you, it's not them, it's something else. What do you mean? Hey, Omar. Yeah. You think the hearse could drive through the warehouse door? The warehouse roll up? Shit, yeah. Why? You want me to do that? I think we have to. Alright. It's your warehouse. Yes, it is. Come on. Everybody! Well, I can fix it. How long? How long, Omar? Half an hour? Cat, you take the girls, get to the party room. Sick boy, you and me will look for our whole line and put that up. What was her name? Susie Cream Cheese or some shit. Who brought her anyways? Nobody knows? I think she just followed us from the bar. Wait a minute, so nobody knows who that bitch was? I sure don't. I mean, she could be some kind of nut job or something. Cat, please calm down. You better get that fucking tank running. Yo, kitty. Jack, you better get her. You better get her and keep on my face, please. All right, all right, that's enough. Everybody needs to calm down. We're all freaked out over this shit. The doors were jammed. That's freaky. Yeah, we found a little blood, but that's no reason to be getting at each other's throats. Beck's missing, too. Fuck. Omar's gonna get this thing running. And when he does, we break down the doors and off we go, so let's just get this thing done. Cat, get to the party room. Sick boy, you're with me. Why don't you go wait in the party room and let us girls do the searching? Oh my god, I am not going to get into some kind of gender debate with you. Let's put it this way, I'm your boss, you're my employee, man. Do what I say or you find another job, got it? Loud and clear, Massa. I am sorry, Massa. I didn't mean to, Massa. I'm sorry. One more, you got what you need to fix this heap. I might have to go get some things from the tool room. Let's all go. I'll feel better with something heavier or sharp in my hand. Oh, Jesus H, what is that stench? No, it's my, it's my shit out of something dead. 
My eyes are watering. It's coming from the graveyard. This the law freak out. We don't need a panic. We don't need a panic. We're already in a fucking panic. Did you see her? She was fucking ripped. Oh, shut shit. the fuck up, you I'm asshole. Fucking dirt, bitch. Stop, stop, man. Stop this. Jack's right. We need to keep this quiet. We need to keep our heads. If we stay together, we'll be safe. Jack, you can go to the party room with the girls. Sick boy can help me with the hearse. You know, fucking up, fine. I know more about that hearse than he does. Fucking Albino. Good to see you, man. Real good. All right. Sick boy, you're with me. Albino, you stay with Omar. Work on the hearse. God. Tell me what's going on. I'll tell you what I know. Let's get working on getting that shit running. Here. Take this. What's going on? Where's that? Albino was sleeping it off in insanity. Beck is probably somewhere doing the same. There's plenty of places to crash around. I'm gonna go look for her. You're going to stay right here. We don't need anyone else missing. Oh, is that missing? Don't twist my words. I don't know where she is. Maybe she ran off that cream cheese chick. How do I know? She wouldn't do that. She wouldn't. Would she? She's your girlfriend. God damn it! I'm gonna kick her ass around her ears. Fucking bitch! We went to the tool room, got what we needed, got back here. Albino was waiting for us. I don't believe you, Jack. Why would I lie to you? To protect me, to protect us, to stop us all from freaking out more than we already are. Omar can fix anything. He can't, Albino can. We'll be out of here in half an hour. Half an hour? Right. Okay. Body. Omar! Albino! Where are you? Son of a bitch! Where are you going, Jack? Find those assholes! Jesus Christ! 
place, Cat, we're your friends! Bullshit! What have you used the killer? Cat, what are you talking about? Don't! It's gotta be morning, right? Yeah, why? It's black out there. What? Take a look. What the fuck? How can it be black? Are you, are you sure you cut all the way to the outside? Yeah, I'm sure. These walls are like a sixteenth of an inch thick. If that. It's not like night. It's, it's black. What do you mean? I don't know what that means. Let me see. What is that out there? There's gotta be a reason. What? We died and went to hell? I don't need that right now. I really don't. I'm really scared again. This is totally fucked up. I think we should keep going. <laughs> really? You mean go through there? That's pretty fucked up. And what's the alternative, Pop? Stay here? End up like Albino? End up like Beck? What happened to Beck? Yes. What the fuck happened to Beck? Don't 
do it, Acid. Please. Get the fuck away from me! sale of the dead. Come on. Cat! 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 Cat!
they, they give me the cream they can. And... Cold, oh, please. Oh, Maybe she's not in here. Where else could she be? Stuffed in a closet somewhere. How the fuck should I know? We've been dealing with dead bodies in the party room for so fucking long. She could be anywhere. Oh, sorry. Yeah, me too. out of here and go back in the party room and hopefully someone will come to find us. If they can find us. Maybe, maybe, maybe Omar, maybe Omar did get out and he'll come back for you. Come on. Oh, come yeah, on. No. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's all illusion. You're dead. Yes, and you know what it's like to be dead? You've never died. Yeah, I have. How do I explain this to you? People mind could understand. Death. It's a lot like it's a lot like Buffalo. I just... When you die, your insignificant, minuscule existence, awareness, becomes universal awareness. I don't think I'm explaining this well. You're not getting this, are you? See, if you actually understood the vast nature of the universe, your head would implode. You'd die of insanity. Because nothing matters in this world. Nothing. People holler out to their fucking God, wondering how children can be fought, how innocent. Turns a blind eye 
I have the answer. Do you want to know what it is? <laughs> because God's fucking <laughs> dead! He was never here! There's no such fucking thing! He's an artifact, he's a creation! It's nothing! None of this matters! You can't be alive. You can't be. I can't be alive. I can't be. It's such box. There's bullshit here, honey! We use bullshit! I can be. And I fucking am. Must be insane. Oh. oh, yeah, you're insane. <laughs> How? 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 <laughs> there are forces. You can call them evil, dark. Fucking call them Elvis. I don't give a fucking shit. Sort with them. What's wrong? That's a good word. That doesn't get used much anymore. Pity. Anyway, I, I kill for them. Because it amuses them. I'm kind of like their fucking television. I'm one in a long line. Jack the Ripper, Hitler, Pelpot, any number of serial killers you can name. They all had a consort with these forces. They all killed for their amusement. Now you're probably wondering what they got out of it. Pleasure. Knowledge. <laughs> yeah, mostly the pleasure we're in it for. Yeah. You were dead. Yes. Yes, I was dead. I died a horrific death. This fucking skin still itches me anyway. I'm not used to it. But see, I have certain knowledge, certain wisdom that comes about when you deal with this outside forces, as it were. So I made sure that if indeed I was going to die, that I had a backup plan so that I could come back. Just needed one thing. A few drops of virgin's blood. You fucking whore. Thank you. Why me? What did I ever do to you? You? You yourself? Nothing. Nothing at all. I, uh... I got your name out of her liver. You place some employment from the remnants of her, of her spleen. I could hear your voice resonating with the last breath in her lungs. I saw your face on the surface of her eyes. You killed those FBI agents. Yeah. So. Where did you hear that name? Where did you see that face in? Oh, okay. All right. I fucked up. All right, I didn't follow the rules, but I had to protect myself! For Burton fell to live, they had to die! And you didn't live. And you didn't kill me. You died. Shut up. I got, done it again. I got all their names. All. All from their insides, all from their guts. You know what your little, your little fuck buddy, what his insides told me? Told me to kill the one who calls herself fuck acid fucking pop tart. What, what the fuck kind of name is that? What did her guts tell me? I didn't need her guts to tell me fucking anything. The only one left is you. When you're dead, then I can go relax. Change the scenery. I don't know. Maybe fucking Canada. They seem bored. 
So you followed the rules? Yes, they brought me back and I followed the rules. And then you broke them again. What the fuck do you know? I know that I was supposed to be your last victim. So when you came back this time, I should have been your first. When did you become the expert? So who did you kill next? I took Susie first. But how did you know? His guts told you to kill her first. I was done somewhere. You were supposed to kill me. Shut up! Shut your fucking mouth! I'm Burton Bell! I, I can fucking kill anybody I want! No, you can't! And you know it. Even evil has rules. But guess what? You broke them. After all the trouble they went to to bring you back, you go and fuck it up in their face. You were supposed to kill me first, but no, you saved me to satisfy your own sick fucking needs. You fucked up! You fucked up! Thank you so much. This is how you repay me! Show me. Oh, my God. 
Thank you.